Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Prehistoric Kingdom. This is a zoo management game that is all about running a dinosaur zoo. We're going to have things like Triceratops and T-Rex and Velociraptors all running amok in our uh, our zoo. Well, hopefully not running amok in our uh, zoo that we will be creating here. This is a, uh, a pre-alpha demo. It's available on Steam. And uh, they're actually moving the game over to Kickstarter, I believe tomorrow. Maybe today. Next few days it's supposed to be hitting Kickstarter. It's been developed by Shadow Raven Studios, and uh, I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at the thing. It's very bare bones at the moment, but the idea is, I think, a lot of fun. I think something like Zoo Tycoon with, well, dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and try the thing out and see what all we can do here. There's not a whole lot uh, as far as configuring the game, not a whole lot in the game at all, but enough to show it off and see what, what's happening. Uh, so we've got a nice island, Western Island Zoo is the name of our place. No, it's going to be called uh, Nookrassic park and uh there's our island we have the only one available unlimited funds this is sort of a sandbox sort of thing to get an idea what the game is all about no difficulty it's all basic but we can see what's gonna happen here so the game's gonna be about like, placing down um our our breeding area and our maybe our, our car farm putting out some fences putting in some dinosaurs and uh and building a zoo so here we are welcome to the island the uh, island of, of Nukrasic Park. And we can see it's very flat at the moment. And we want to go find ourselves a nice hilly spot because that seems more that seems more exciting. I think something like over here. Like you run back here and then, oh, yes, right back over here. Okay, so let's zoom in down here and get an idea of what we're going to be doing here. So down the bottom of the screen, you can see all the different options we have. We make fences. We can make things like habitats and feeding areas, shelters. There are roads and pathways we make. We can put down lighting and, and scenery and rocks we can put down we can also add in more trees this way let's go ahead and start off by putting down a animal nursery so this is gonna be like our central spot in the zoo which i'm gonna put right over here somewhere something like right there and then we'll throw down a, a transportation spot we park all of our cars right there I think that's the right way. Uh, they want power and water. There's really not much not much to this right now. Just all you have to do is put down a, uh, a windmill. Yoink. Power is solved. For water, you just place this down over here. The, <laughs> as, I, as I mentioned, very, very bare bones. But there we go. <laughs> okay. So, water and power has been supplied. And there we go. Look at that. We have, we have a breeding center. And we have a car place over here at the breeding center. We saw that menu there. We can breed dinosaurs. Breeding is going to be a big part of the game, I guess. Uh, genetics will be a part of it. So we can do things like genetically modifying our, our animals. We have Gallimimus. Uh, we have T-Rexes around, whether they have feathers or scaly. We have Velociraptors as well. Uh, only option is feathered for these guys. We can select how old they're going to be, whether they're going to be kids, uh, males, or females. Uh, we also have uh, Triceratops is in here as well. I think that's the only four that's in the game at the moment. It's just these four guys. and uh, But first off, we got to make some, some fences. So let's place down. Let's uh, get out of here. Place down some pathways. Something like... We'll go with a nice stone pathway and set it up like, uh, like that. And we'll do something like over here. We'll have like a main square kind of thing. See if we can do this somewhat pretty-like. There we go. Um, well, that's yeah, that'll work. And then we go, and then we can branch off this way, like that, and we'll branch off that way. Okay, that works. We'll put a uh, a zoo uh, a pin over here. We can put maybe over on this side. Maybe the T Rex will go over here where the kind of kind of, uh, kind of bumpy. Let's get a fence. T Rex needs a nice metal fence. We're gonna put him in first. Let's go with something like this. Maybe over here. Maybe you can give him a little spot over that way and can't go too hilly here but we can go something like over this way and go like like that and then back down that way and then back almost lined up there we go lined up okay let's put a gate right there another one two gates okay there we go Okay, there is going to be our T-Rex pen. It doesn't seem like it's going to be big enough, does it? I saw Jurassic Park. I know what happens. We need, like, something on this thing. 
Uh, now this is this is kind of a lame looking pen. We got to make it something more a little more exciting. We could put stone walls up too if we wanted. You know, I guess a little double layer of of walls, but that's nah, not necessary. I don't think anything runs away. I'm assuming that will happen in, in the future. It better happen in the future. We got to give him a a shelter. How about a nice giant rock? Let's put it up uh, up here. Where's the end? There it is. Right uh, somewhere where it's not red. Um, I guess we're gonna put it right over here. Yep. Okay, we'll put it right over here then. Right there. There's gonna be a shelter going in there. We will give them some trees as well. Let's go something like that. We want rotation, sure, intensity. Yes, lots of trees. Lots of giant trees. Well, maybe not too much. I don't want to like crash the game. Um, all the trees. Place them down in here to make this look a little bit more, a little bit more exciting. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Excellent, excellent. There we go. We got trees. We have a habitat. We got fences. Now we just need some food for this guy. Feeding. They eat meat. Let's throw it out here in the middle. Well, right here so the visitors can see it. Like right over here. Right there. We'll give them some water right here also. Like that. And then let's make our pathway branch off a little bit so people can walk by here and they can stare at the dinosaurs. There we go. Like that. And get off. Get off of there. And over here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, now, let's place a T-Rex. Let's, whoops. Let's make a T-Rex. First off, uh, we want to go over to here. And T-Rex. We're going to go with the scaly kind because that's just the that's just the way it should be. All right, and uh, leather hide is fine. We can go, we're gonna do one old male and breed him. We also need to do a female. Do female, make her a little bit on the smaller side, a little bit younger. We can name them if we want. We're gonna go with a couple kids. We'll do um, we'll do a little, a little kid, a little boy. Oh, look at the little T-Rex, okay. And uh, yeah, breed him. Okay, now select all of them, place the selected into our pen. There they are. There we go, we have dinosaurs. There they go. Going to eat? Yes. Go have a bite to eat? Mmm. Making me hungry. Alright. Exactly. Oh, actually getting water. Look at that. Drinking. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Now we have put. Let's put everything else in. Not in the same pen. That would be a little bit not friendly. But we can make ourselves a nice wooden fence. Well, one with windows, of course. Well, we can do wood back here and then put windows on the other side. We'll let it meet up with the T Rexes just to you know tease them. And go something like uh, we'll start up over here and go up. Can I do something like that? Um, can I get off this mountain easily? Probably not. And that may not may not work. Can you get up there? We can meet up over. Mm, we'll go something like this. Over here, I want this to be kind of a big one. Over here, and then go. You can drive. Here's here's the idea. Here's what we're gonna do with this one. You're gonna drive through this place, and you can go visit the dinosaurs. And you'll see what I mean by drive through. We we'll go up on the hill, and I'm trying to get too crafty here. I want to go up on the hills, dang it. Um, there we go. That way, and just meet back up with that one. Okay, so there we go. So there's going to be our, uh, our like, safari-style drive through We can put a gate in here. That way you can drive through this place. I think the truck can drive through that. And this will be where we're going to keep our herbivores. So that way, the, uh, you know, it keeps the T-Rexes excited. Seeing uh, dinner on the other side of the fence. Let's put in a uh, one of these shelters. This is a big one. Where's the front? This way. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Place, come on. Come on, place. There you go. And uh, we'll put a tree stump over. Oh, that's a little tiny tree stump. Put that one over there. Okay. Um, we need some feeding. We're going to do a little bit. Uh, well, these are going to be like herbivores, so they need this, this kind of food. Like that one. And we'll put a little bitty one over here for some feeding. Uh, they're going to need some water. 
Okay, and we will do some trees. We shouldn't probably go too crazy with that. I'm not sure how well this is optimized. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, place. Ooh, ooh. Um, place. There we go. Okay, put some trees around here. Like, uh, that looks all right. Up on the mountain, too. Yeah. A little bit of trees. Well, all trees even on the path. That's how amazing these trees are. Prehistoric time trees. So we want to make a uh, Gallimimus. Um, can I put the Velociraptors in with the T-Rexes, you think? Was that going to be safe? I don't know. I want uh, this one. This is just Triceratops, right? Yeah. So with this Triceratops, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make ourselves a, uh, a big male. Something like the, the Crimson Frill. Yes. Make one of those. Breed that guy. We will make a female Copperback. And we'll do a couple... We'll do like three kids. Three green kids. Uh, females, fine. And we're going to breed these guys. And we're, as soon as they're done, we're going to place them into our pen. Places like them. Uh, like long. Okay, they're all going to go into here. There we go. Dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs in here. There we go. Now T-Rex is going to just sort of stare at them through the fence. It's going to be very exciting. The grass is very tall. It's even taller than the dinosaur. There he goes. Going to go get some water, I guess. And some food. Oh, yes. Hmm. Oh, hello. Okay, back over here. Let's do um, Gallimimus. That is like a like a, a friendly guy, right? A friendly herbivore kind of dinosaur. Very feathered. It's like a giant ostrich. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll make one of those. I'll make some of those. We'll put those with the T with the uh, the not the T Rex T Rexes. Put them in with the uh, Triceratops. I don't think there's. I don't think they attack each other. Yet. I'm just, it's got to be a thing. It's got to be a thing later on in the game, I would imagine. You can't have a game like this and not have them attack. What's the fun of the game if you can't attack all the dinosaurs? Okay, place these guys in here as well. Um, we'll open this up before we're done with this and see what, what happens with this. There we go. Now we're getting a little more, a little bit more exciting around here. Excuse me? Yes. Ooh, yes. It's kind of quiet. I hope I can, I hope I'm picking it up. Now, uh, Velociraptor. That's what we have next, right? Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to go with a big Velociraptor. These are going to be feathered because they're our only choice. We can't do the Jurassic Park style, which is kind of lame. I like the, uh, the phony Velociraptors better. We'll do a female one. And we'll do, uh, we'll do, a, like, a 12 baby. We're going to do more than that. 24 is what we're going to do. And while they're breeding all these, we'll place all these guys while that's working on breeding. And we're going to put these guys in here with the T-Rexes. There they are. They're very small. They're very feathery. Like a bunch of, like, giant seagulls. <laughs> okay, let's get some more um, over here. Are they done yet? Yeah, select them all. Place them all. They're going to be all over the place. Oh, that's... I put them in with a uh, Triceratops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Now, the uh, there's not much else we can do. That's, we've pretty much done everything you can do in the, in the, uh, the demo here. Uh, we can put, like, lights down to make it look a little bit fancier around here if we wanted to. Uh, something like that. We can do some of that to make it look a little bit prettier, I guess. We can put some of these can lights... Yes, it's very pretty now. Yes, look how pretty it is. Um, put some rocks down. We can put down small rocks. I haven't figured out there's got to be a button to make things bigger. I don't know how to do it though. Uh, sort of like the Sims, you know, and make things giant sized. Um, and that is pretty much it. But let me show off one more thing. We can be a truck. We can drive around. We can visit our park. And, uh, oh, look, it opens up. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm working on it. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Nograsic Park. Well, hello, everybody. Let's go on a bit of a, a safari here. Check out the place. Let's go inside here and see what's going on. Anything exciting? No, nothing exciting over here. Except for the wall. Can I do this in the... Can I go driving into the T-Rex pen? So, yeah, there's not a ton to this. I mean, it's it's very, very bare bones. Uh, I almost didn't show it off for YouTube, but I'm pretty excited about what it could be. If it turns into something, you know, very zoo tycoon-like, I think it'd be fantastic. And I hope that it does. So, we'll see. What you doing there, buddy? Pooping? What's going on over here? Staring at that? <laughs> What's happening over here? I think they are pooping. Where are you going? Are you not like you're not gonna attack me, are you? I don't think violence is in the game yet, sadly. Oh, take that! How about this? What's going on with this little guy? Ah! Ah! No, no. He was not happy. Oh, I'm taking damage though. Yep, the Velociraptors and T-Rex seem to be getting along just fine. Um, I'm guessing the... How do I get out of this? I'm just going to leave the car there. Yeah, that's a nice look. I guess the T-Rexes, or the Velociraptors are... That's the Gallimimus. There's, some, there's, there's one. There's a Velociraptor right there. You can see his mood, hunger, thirst, all that is, is listed in here. I guess he's getting a drink from the giant water fountain at the moment. This angry seagull we have. But, uh, yeah, there's the game. It's not a, a ton to the game, but it's potentially something very interesting. And on Kickstarter, as soon as it's on Kickstarter, I'll put a link in the description to that. And I think it's going to be... I was reading a thing, and I think they said it's going to be today, which is, well, as this video comes out, it should be hitting Kickstarter, I believe. Let's see if I timed it well. I almost forgot one very, very important thing. That is, we need to unlock this and see if there's any sort of fighting going on. If we can bulldoze this... Bulldoze this fence. Demolish. No, not that. Defense. Bulldoze the... Yes, bulldoze the fence. Okay, there we go. So you're free. Now go and eat each other. Come here. I'm picking you up. Throwing you over here. Mmm, looks pretty tasty, doesn't he? Nope. Just sit down, sit down and poop. Uh, how about you go sit right over here in the water? I don't, let me put you on the food dish. <laughs> okay. He's right there. He's live and moving. It doesn't get much more tastier than that, buddy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Now he's out of here. You missed your chance. <laughs> I guess they, uh, no eating other dinosaurs yet in the game, sadly. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This is Prehistoric Kingdom. It's available on... Well, the demo is available on Steam. I believe it's on Kickstarter as of today. Maybe within the next couple days it'll be over there. I'll have a link in there as soon as it is available. And I'll see you next time.